Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall be looking at how to set up our drawing workspace in order to enhance our drawing experience. Before we go on, I'd like you to click like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Now, the, the first step we we'll need to do is to set up the drawing units. And we could achieve that for this tutorial in two ways. The first way or method is by clicking on the top left corner here, the AutoCAD icon, where options will appear. We move down to the drawing utilities and from the tab, there are other options. So let's click on this ut units. A dialog box will appear. And from here, we can set up our drawing units. So for now, we shall leave the length type to be decimal. While for precision, we leave it to be zero. And then for the insertion scale, we are going to use units of uh, millimeters for this tutorial. Let's leave all that features and press OK. Another alternative is by clicking on the command line feature by typing unit and press enter the same dialog box appears and you can still see the features so let's just press ok now the next step is to define our drawing limits and we could achieve that by typing limits on the command line press enter now the um, there's a feature here that says the lower left corner should be specified. For now, we have zero, zero, and that's like assuming that's on the Cartesian plane. We press enter. And the next step is to specify the upper right corner. For now, we are going to use an uh, imagined uh, dimension for a two room floor plan. And so, we are going to have our x axis to be 7,775 millimeters, while the vertical axis will be 4,500. Press enter. So, the next step is to activate the zoom feature. Now, this will enable us to have a better access to our drawing as the uh, drawing activity progresses so for the zoom command we type zoom press enter now there are options that will appear here for now we'll leave it at extents so the next stage is to set up our line no before we get to our line width let's try and set up our layers now, one way of activating our layer features is by coming to the AutoCAD ribbon here, which is made up of a collection of AutoCAD drawing tools, AutoCAD modified tools, annotation, layers, block, properties, groups, utilities, and clipboard. In the course of our tutorial, we may be assessing some of these features. But for now, we are going to set up our layers. Now, the layers will enable us to assign properties to certain features of the drawing. So, for now, we have a, draw, a, a floor plan and we will want to assign layers for doors, layers for windows, layers for uh, dimension. And so, let's, for us to activate the feature, let's click on this part of the ribbon and from the dialog box that appears we can activate our layers by either clicking on this feature here and then assign a name let's assume we have a wall then let's as uh, portion some properties to that wall let's look at the color let's assume the color is yellow press enter then 
for the line weight let's assume that the line weight is 0.3 mm press ok then let's assign let's create other layers let's let's start with layers for windows another way of creating a new layer is by right clicking and then from the options that appear we select new layer so let's type windows now let's also apportion you know properties let's assume the color of the window is magenta press enter now let's also leave the line weight as that let's also assign a layer for the door let's change the color of the layer let's assume to be cyan press enter and then let's also create a new one for dimensions so let's have our dimensions and let's apportion a color unique color so let's take it to be lemon green and press enter so we can close the layer tab now for us to draw there are two other features that we also need to activate one is the dimension style while the other one is the line weight <clears throat> now let's look at let's draw let's draw a line remember we have already assigned layers to some of the features we want to draw and i can assess it from this part of the layer tab so if you want to draw a wall let's you have to click on it first now what it means is that if i'm going to draw a wall it has to be yellow colored so for me to draw that wall i can either use the line or polyline feature but for now let's just use the polyline now let's assume i mean let's let's start with what we were supposed to draw the dimension let's assume that the external walls are made up of 225 225 i've typed that and you can see it from the feature beside the cursor i press enter now the next is to type let's assume that the dimension of the x-axis of the rooms are you know 3500 3500 press enter then i now type another boundary for another line for the external wall 225 then another length of wall um, another length of the room 3500 and then another dimension for the wall 225 now i'll also need to draw remember we're trying to bring out the outline of the drawing so we will introduce the external walls still out two to five press enter then we mentioned earlier that the vertical wall should be four thousand meters press enter Then another external wall, 